what's going on YouTube so a little bit of update <laughs> I know I haven't made a video in a couple days because I've been really fucking sick uh, in case you do not know I am an asthmatic so basically what that is is I have asthma as you can tell in the name asthmatic asthma so right now I'm in Fairbanks Alaska and we're having some really bad forest fires surrounding all of uh, Fairbanks and these fires are producing a lot of smoke. Anyone that has somewhat of an idea about an asthma pay person knows that smoke is not good. It's not their best friend. It's really hard on them. It's harsh on their lungs. And it makes everything they do a lot harder. It even makes breathing a lot harder. Like just talking right now, it's taking a lot of energy. For me to say what I gotta say. So if you know somebody with asthma and they don't feel like doing something outside because it's smoky or or they can't they're not feeling the best, don't push them. Don't make them go do things that they can't do. Cause I got told to go do something. I told the person, listen, I it's too smoky out right right now. I, something bad's gonna happen. And they did not listen to me. So once I did what they did, what they told me to do, I was almost done doing it, and <laughs> I had an asthma attack. I got rushed to the ER via ambulance. I put, I had an oxygen tank that I had to breathe through because I wasn't getting enough oxygen. Then a nebulizer, an EKG, and an MRI. I was having some really bad respiratory problems. I couldn't breathe. Yeah, so. It wasn't good. The end was sad. If you watched one of my previous videos, I don't know if you, if you did or not, but I have one on here. It's called MPA. It's a nasal, nasal pharyngeal. It's the thing that stick down your, your nose and it opens your, your airways. They almost had to use that on me for real this time. Because one of my previous videos is just, I, we were just screwing around. It was a training class for uh, CLS, the combat lifesaver class. We were just, we, we wanted to see what it felt like, so that's why we were doing it. It wasn't for real. Nobody was really getting hurt. Nobody was injured. Everybody was fine. Except this time with me, it was almost for real. Luckily, they were open to, able to open my airways a little bit and get more oxygen flowing through my body. So it didn't have to come to that. And now I've been in my room because I'm not allowed to go outside. And I haven't been, I'm legally, according to the United States, well, I can't say, it. scratch that. According to what my sickness is, I'm legally not allowed to go outside. I'm legally not allowed to work outside. And as a combat job person, my job is combat. I can't say exactly what what it is. My job, where I work, my duty, everything I do is outside. So until this smoke goes away, until everything clears up, I cannot physically do my job. And that is one of the hardest, one of the hardest things about it. I'm used to going to the ER. I'm used to getting out of the oxygen tanks. I'm used to all that crap, you know? It, it becomes a routine almost. Like, okay, well, you write down your little piece of paper, it's like, hey, this is what I need. Like, okay, and they give it to you, you're perfectly fine. When you can't do your job, when you physically cannot do your job, it is a humongous morale killer. Now don't worry, you know, this is only temporary, so it's only going to last so long, and I'll be back at it. I'll be back right back at it, you know, outside doing my, what I got to do every single day. No issues. I'm fine. Good. But for right now, I'm not. So, uh, don't expect very many videos. Don't still check out every now and then, you know, 
feel free to leave comments, description, whatever you want to say in the comment section below. But I probably will not be making a whole lot of videos. Basically due to the fact that there's nothing for me to make a video about. I, I have nothing to do.